Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of this reading or all of the messages that come through today may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation and release the rest to the universe. I didn't see the truth about this connection for a long time. I was blindfolded. Now I finally realize it is you. It was always you. You are the one. Yeah, so during this time of separation, your person has had a major breakthrough here and that blindfold has come off. They know that you are the one. They've realized so much more about this connection during the time that you've been apart from each other. They see the light and they see the truth. And if it's taken this time of separation for them to gain that greater awareness within themselves, it will be worth it in the end. Because when they present themselves to you, again, for a fresh start, to create a reconciliation with you, they will be a much better partner because they understand now the truth about this connection. I know we will have to fight for this love. Your person is going to put forth so much more effort in this relationship with you than what they did in the past. They will be a better communicator. They will be willing to make more compromises with you. They will be more compassionate, more understanding, more loving, more giving than you have ever seen them do before. They also will be more committed to this relationship and to this love. They may not have been willing to fight for this love in the past, just fighting with you instead, which was created a lot of problems between the two of you and caused this relationship to take the path that it went down to create the separation between you. But your person is, is going to be different when they return. They're going to put forth effort and energy to fight for you and for this connection because they know that you are the one. Never underestimate how much I do love you. I might not show it, but you really are my one true love. This is a powerful reading today, guys. Your person is expressing from their heart and their soul the depth of their love for you. They love you. I might not show it. Now, in the past, they may not have shown you or told you, but as they rebuild this relationship with you, they will tell you. They will tell you how they feel. They will show you through their actions. You won't doubt what your person feels for you because it will come directly from them. They will be emotionally open with you and transparent. They will allow themselves to be vulnerable with you because now they have a greater understanding about the truth of this connection. I see you in my dreams. We are already together in 5D. Your person loves to dream about you. It makes them feel that you are right there next to them, that they can just reach out and touch you and feel your touch on them as well. In the 5D realm, the two of you, your souls can exchange energy in a very wonderful way. And your person loves to feel that energy exchange. But this tells us as well, your person dreams about you during the day. They envision what a future with you would look like. And they've been focused on that since they've had this realization about this connection and about you, about their love for you, and that you are the one for them. They understand that now. They get it on a much deeper level than they have ever understood it before. And when they return, they will share all of that with you because their love for you is undeniable, even if they denied it in the past. And they are willing to do what it takes to prove their love for you. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? Can we have some clarification for these messages? What do we need to know? 
This is the Four of Pentacles. This tells us your person wants to hold on to you and hold on to this love that's here between you. It tells us that they know that you are the one for them. In a general reading, the Four of Pentacles is about money and someone that wants to hold on to their money. But this isn't a general reading for just stuff. This is a love reading. So this tells us your person wants to hold you close to their heart. They want to hold on to you and on to this connection because they realize now that you are the one for them. What else? What further clarification can we get for this reading, please? What else do we need to know? This is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of the student and a card of work. This tells us that your person is going to be willing to put forth the work with you together to fight for this love. And perhaps it's about learning relationship skills on how to have a solid romantic partnership where they can express and share their feelings with you. Perhaps they haven't had that experience in the past. And this is something that you are going to be able to teach them. But right here, we have the four and the eight of pentacles. These are cards of stability, of a solid foundation. The relationship between the two of you moving forward will be built on a much more solid foundation than the one that they broke when you were spending time with them before. Let's see what else the collective wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What else do we need to know? The Nine of Cups. That definitely clarifies this card here. Never underestimate how much I do love you. You are my one true love. The Nine of Cups is a card that tells us your person is full of love and full of emotions for you. Cups represent emotions. The nine of cups, nine cups are full of their love for you. But the nine of cups is also a wish card. This tells us your person believes that you fulfill what they wish for in terms of a romantic partner, but it also tells you guys watching this reading today, make a wish, throw that wish out to the universe, whatever that wish is, because your angels and your guides are listening and they want to grant you this wish. What else do we need to know for this reading today, please? What does the collective want to reveal to us? This is the Ace of Swords. This is very much about the blindfold coming off, very much about your person having a breakthrough, being able to see with much greater clarity than what they did before. This tells us your person has had an awakening, that they can see, they understand, they see the truth, and the Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth. But it also tells us that your person is going to initiate communication with you. Not just in 5D where you're meeting up in the spiritual realm and sharing your dreams with each other, but in the 3D world where we live. This is the action your person is going to take with you because you are the one for them. They see the truth of this connection now with much greater clarity than they ever saw it before. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? The Storyteller. Look at this card. A blank book with ink, and rose petals, and a quill, a pen, to write the next chapter of your love story together. But also this key here. This tells us that you have the key to your person's heart. This tells us the two of you have more to your story and you will write that story with each other together while you are in the place of union. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? Close Encounters. This card tells us that your person is getting close 
to the place where they are ready to initiate this communication with you. It tells us they want to spend time with you. They're thinking about that now. But I love the butterflies on this card as well because it tells us your person is going through change and transformation. The change that they need to become the partner that you need them to be. Someone who will be more expressive of their feelings for you. Who will let you in. Who will share everything with you. But this Close Encounters card as well talks about the closeness that will be in this relationship between you and your person moving forward. Talks about you being vulnerable and authentic with each other. Building a very close, intimate, emotionally intimate as well as passionately intimate building a very close, emotionally intimate relationship with each other, which will give your relationship with them this great stability that comes with the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. This relationship with your person moving forward is going to be a much better relationship. One that fulfills what you are looking for in terms of a partner with this Nine of Cups being here, but also this tells us the relationship with your person is going to be very loving and the one that fulfills your dreams. The partner that you have known that they could always transform and become. This is the person that's returning for this relationship with you. Let's see what else we need to know here. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading? Divine timing. Feel this tells us that we must trust in the divine timing of the universe. The universe knows when things need to unfold. If they move too quickly and you get a false start, that's going to create more problems. There is a reason why things are taking as long as they are between you and your person to come to this place of reconciliation or for them to even contact you, to talk to you. The divine timing of the universe is at work here. There's divine guidance around this connection with you and your person. Your angels, their angels are trying to bring this relationship to the place of union. But the thing here is your person has already had a major breakthrough. They see things with much greater clarity now. They see you in the, your dreams. They love you. They see the truth about this connection now. They were blindfolded in the past, but not anymore. The universe has caused your person to have this breakthrough so that they have this clarity, so that they know that you are the one for them. But trusting in the divine timing of the universe tells us to have faith in your angels and guides, have faith in your person, and have faith in yourself as well as this connection with them. Things will unfold and come together the way that they need to. What else does the collective want to reveal for this reading today, please? What else do we need to know? Surrender. I love that. Your person is surrendering to this connection and to this love and to the universe. The universe is in control, which is why that divine timing card came as well. Your person is surrendering. They are surrendering to the powers that be, to the universe, to their angels and to their guides, but also to this love that is here between you. They know that this is a powerful love. They know that you're the one for them. They see that and they understand that and they know that on a very deep level now. You're already together in 5D. They see you in union in that place. Your person knows the two of you belong together and they will fight for this love when the two of you start rebuilding this relationship. There is a deep love here in this connection from your person to you, even if they did not share that with you in the past. They will moving forward. This relationship with your person is going to be more balanced, harmonious, happy, and fulfilling for you. Built on a very strong foundation of love, communication, and supporting each other. But also built on truth. 
because your person has gained a greater understanding about this connection with you during this time that you've been in separation and they know that you are the one for them. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.